Hi, I am Ben from the Hungarian Broadcast Team, and we are here with Genax from SK uh, Gaming. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you for taking the time to pick your brain about this week matches and the whole split and everything and whatnot. Yeah, so, no problem. Thanks for having me here. Thank you. So, you're the only one who stayed with the team that made the last year's playoff. What happened with the team? That and why did you or why the team decided to replace four players? Um, I mean, uh, when we, at the end, after the playoff games, we were like um, not thinking, okay, we are going to um, change all four players. Um, we wanted to make some changes because we had like some problem with like the team atmosphere and stuff. It wasn't going like too well. We felt like we were not improving uh, fast because uh, people were not really speaking their mind and stuff, so we wanted to make some changes. And in the end, it happened that we changed like all of them besides me, right? So it just uh, happened kind of naturally, I think. Uh, also, last spring you decided to switch from mid to top. Uh, did it work out for you? Like, do you like the role better? And also, if you had the opportunity to go back, would you do it? So I think uh, like almost instantly happy with like my decision but it took me some time to play better i mean now i'm starting to play better right like it also shows a bit um but i still think i have a long way to go to be like satisfied with my performance on top lane um not saying that i was satisfied as a mid laner like there's reasons why i swapped right um so i, I think i'm still like happy with the decision that i made and if i could go back i probably would do it again all right. Okay. Uh, you uh, so basically you played with two completely different SK gaming team. Uh, which one do you think is the strongest? Last year's playoff team or this year's streaking team? Because right now you are on a five games uh, winning streak, right? I, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this year is way stronger. Um, I'm not only saying that because. Uh, like this is always how you think, right? Like you are the strongest team right now. <laughs> but uh, I think that we are right now. We just play more styles. Like last split, we only played Rick's at top and play for bot every game. And if the enemy counters it well, then the chance of winning was really low. And now I feel like we are way more flexible in the way we play, and we play a lot of different team comps. Um, and also our team fighting is a lot better than last year, I think. Uh, what do you think that this year's performance will get you? What is your aim? What is your goal to uh, come in uh, at the Spring Split? In Spring, we, I personally want to reach uh, top four in playoffs. Like I want to play the semi-finals. And then it kind of depends on who we face against. I think um, we can win against anyone. But I think G2 is really, really hard to win in again. Uh, in a best of five because they're just really experienced and they prepare really well for the opponent and they for sure have like i mean anyone we play has an experience edge against us right because we have three players that didn't play lc before so i think playing against g2 will be really hard but uh, top four is my expectation for spring all right and last but not least uh, you have a nickname uh, and sorry if i am pronouncing it wrong but you're Deutsche faker uh, do you have any other players or do you look up to him as well? And do these players inspire you to be uh, a better player? Yeah, I mean, uh, Faker is someone I always looked up to. Like when I was a mid laner, obviously, yeah, like he's, he was the best mid laner at the time. So I was looking up to him. And even now I look up to him, not really for being like an insane player, but just for the person that he is. And uh, like um, impact he has on teams, like every team... He, like it really seems like they are making many improvements every year when he's playing um and right now i mean for top lane there's like nuguri and bin who are like really really good like one is super explosive and the other one is super controlled and it's really um interesting to see in top lane that there's like the top players have different styles like a mid lane i feel like a lot of players are kind of similar don't be is an exception but usually the players are similar they're just really good at everything and on top lane, I feel like some, one player is really good at like uh, controlling lane. The other one is super aggressive. The other one is like super passive, but killing him or getting him down is almost impossible. So um, there's many people that I look up to in top lane, I would say, or like that I aspire to become myself. 
All right. Uh, I wish you good luck for the, this week's matches and also for the split even. And uh, I hope we will see you uh, in the playoffs. And I hope we can have another chat maybe in the summer. Yep. Thank you very much.